गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज आर डे फोर विद आर चैप्टर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड नेचुरल वेजिटेशन वी हैव ऑल्सो लर्न अबाउट डिफरेंट फॉरेस्ट कवर्स ऑफ इंडिया द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी हैव लर्न इन दिस चैप्टर इज दैट हाउ डिफरेंट प्लांट्स अडेप्ट दम सेल्व इन टू द वेरियस इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन एंड हाउ दिस सर्वाइव इन दैट कंडीशन so let's start up with the topic of the day also in this today also we will be learning about the different forest of india in detail today our topic will be the forest based on relief relief means landform landform we can take example like mountains we can take examples of delta etc so today our objective is to learn about mountain forest its climate area state characteristics and species to learn about tidal or mangrove forest its climate area states characteristics and species while going through these topics we will also learn several new words the first word altitude means height above the mean sea level second one transition zone means when two regions are not sharply divided the area between them becomes a transition zone if i speak about transition in a simpler simple manner i can say the zone where the chain starts next one is delta a triangular fertile land formed at the mouth of the river example sundarban delta estuaries the white part of a river where it joins the sea especially without forming any delta only two rivers in india form this one is narmada and one is tapi which drain themselves into the arabian sea next is brackish water water which is not fit for drinking so let's start our topic for the day students please take out your page number 143 of your books mountain forest mixed forest based on relief if the word when the mountain forest come the first thing that strikes my mind is mountain means hills mountains a mountainous state and if i think of the mountainous state i think of jammu kashmir i think of himachal pradesh uttarakhand then we have sikkim arunachal pradesh so these forests are also found basically in these type in these states of india let's start climate these forests are found in an areas of average temperature less than 20 degrees celsius but obviously if i'm thinking about a mountainous areas i'm thinking of a very cool climate or a cool climate and the cool areas at an altitude means height above the mean sea level of 1600 meter to 3300 meters they occur in an area getting rainfall between 150 to 250 centimeters areas in the north they occur in temperate zone of himalayas from kashmir to assam at varying altitude in the south they are found in nilgiris and anamalai hills in south at an elevation between 1000 meters to 1500 meters if you can see this map you can see this states colored with the brown one these are the states with the mountain forest characteristics mountain forest consist of mixed deciduous and coniferous forest we have already learned about the deciduous forest they occur in transition zone of mixed forest and coniferous forest mixed forests are the forests where we are finding both coniferous deciduous and evergreen trees species spurs and cedar in the north and eucalyptus are found in the nilgiri hills eucalyptus found in the nilgiri hills is very useful the oil extracted from it is very useful they form high but fairly open forests with shrubby undergrowth including oaks laurel bamboo poplar birch walnut elm and cinchona 
cinchona chopin it is used for extraction of resin and turp turpentine as it provides soft wood it is used for making packing cases for tea it is found in punjab uttar pradesh and kashmir next one is silver fir it is a typical coniferous tree coniferous trees has one speciality that they are needle shaped they are needle shaped or we can also say they are cone shaped it is used for paper pulp matches planking and packing cases it is found in the northwestern and the eastern himalayas the order its wood is oily durable and scented it is used for railway sleepers and houses construction one more tree uh, we have learnt in the previous topics which was used for making railway sleeper that was sal and houses construction also it is found in the himachal pradesh and kashmir so our next topic is tidal or mangrove or littoral forest littoral means onshore if you can really see this map of india you can see this purple color this all is showing the tidal forest these forests are basically found on the deltas formed by the rivers or on the edges or the banks of the rivers the tidal forest occurs in and around deltas deltas you we have already learned a triangular fertile patch of land formed at the mouth of the river with average temperature of about 26 degrees celsius to 29 degrees celsius and very heavy rainfall more than 200 cm the plant the plants found here have adapted themselves into the shifting mud conditions location the tidal forest occurs in and around the delta regions estuaries and the creeks and the prone to tidal influence we can see these roots during the low tide found in the areas flooded by the tides these types of trees can survive in the fresh and brackish water areas and states tidal forest occupy a large area about 2100 21000 square kilometer in the sundarbans delta and along the eastern coast mahanadi see this this here we have sundarbans here we have mahanadi then godavari krishna and down we have kaveri deltas delta godavari krishna and andaman islands they are found in the western region characteristics mangrove vegetation is characterized by breathing roots of in matto forest which act as a respiratory organs its stilt like roots remain submerged under the water but can be seen at the low tide submerged means it remains under the water this tangled mass of roots help the plant to survive in the shifting mud of coastal region this we have already talked these forests are very dense species the most important from where the sundarbans delta has got its name sundri trees it is very important in this area it is used for making boats it's very hard and durable Sundarbans Delta has been named after it. Its wood is very hard, strong, and durable. It is used for boat making. Some important species are gorjan and hintal, which provide fuel for household. Others include kiora, agar, and isphora. The casuarina trees are used for fuels. Till now, we have learned about the different forest covers, and we have also learned that how the plants have adapted themselves into their natural. environment from this we also learn that how these plants are useful for a human being how they are providing us with various uses so we should try to protect our forest and now students please remember all the important points of all the forest and try to solve the back question answers